In this video, I will convert this context-free grammar into simple range concatenation grammar format to give you an understanding of how this maybe at the first glance strange looking format works. So I will begin with the simplest rule. It's B expands to the terminal B. In SRCG format, it will look like this. We will have the B. It will generate any string. In this case, it will generate a terminal B. And on the right hand side of the rule, we write down the items this one depends on. So in this case, it doesn't depend on any other items, so it's just epsilon. Now the next rule, A expands to ABA. It's a little bit more complicated. This now depends on any string the B item will generate, and I will replace. I don't know at this point what the b will generate, so I will replace it by the variable x. And as you can see here, the a will, will produce a terminal a concatenated with anything the b generates, concatenated with another a. So I'm writing down the same here. The a will generate a, a string consisting of a terminal a. Then anything the b might generate, replaced by those variables, and concatenated by another a. Now the next rule, the s, it depends on two other items, in this case on a and anything the a generates and anything the b generates. And the variable, the variables, they have only the scope over one line, so I can re reuse them so I can I can name them them like I want so I can give a the variable x and b the variable y and here in this rule the s will produce anything the a generates concatenate with anything the b generates and here's the same I will the s will produce anything the a generates in this case replaced by the x concatenate with anything the B generates, in that case replaced um, or represented by the Y. Now let's um, now we'll show you the trees to both so you can get a better understanding of how they are similar. And if you are doing the derivation with the context free grammar, it might look like this. You have the, the S, you expand it to A B. You expand the A by ABA, which is concatenated with anything from the second B, and so on and so on. And the tree will look like this. You have the S root node. You have two daughter nodes A and B. The A has three daughters A, B and A, and that B will have a daughter B, just like that one. Now, if I'm when I'm drawing the tree for this, that one, it will look a little bit different, but also a little bit similar. I will have an S root node x y. Then the x node it will be it will consist of something the a generates. In that case, the a consists of where you have. You have A, X, and A. Or I can, well, I could draw it the other way around. I could just call it like this. And then the X get, it's replaced by A, by two A's. And also a string generated by the B. And the B, the string will contain something like that B. And this Y will contain anything the B generates. And this Y will also be replaced by the B. So it, it looks similar to this. The structure is the same, but the nodes have some different labels. And that is the context-free grammar in SRCG format.